everyone. My name is Carl Johnson from Cleared Systems. And today we are going to demo Purview with Copilot for insider threat and insider risk management. In this demo, we're going to talk about something that happens a lot, which is an employee is about to quit or knows he or she is about to be fired. And oftentimes, that employee will try to access confidential files to either send those files directly to their personal email accounts or um, send those files to their new employer or send those files uh, to a server. Maybe they're trying to put it onto the dark web, whatever the case may be. As an insider threat team, we want to uh, be on top of that and be proactive versus reactive. As soon as we see any irregular activity from employees, we should be able to jump right in, figure out what the employee is doing, uh, put a stop to it immediately, whether that is to deny access or to put workflows in place um, that shuts down their ability to do so. Um, so let me just go through this demo quickly to show you how you can uh, predict and react to cases where employees are trying to steal uh, confidential information from your Microsoft tenant. So let's go. First and foremost, we want to go over to our alerts. From alerts, we can see um, the severity. In this case, we are going to focus on uh, Elijah. So let's go down here. And we see that there is a possible data theft um, due to employee departure. And like I said, the employee's name is Elijah. Let's see what Elijah has been up to. We're going to go over to view all details. From view all details, we see that this user, for whatever reason, is as accessing a lot of um, prioritized sensitive documents, like documents that you have either labeled with uh, high sensitivity labels, confidential, etc. Now, if you are a uh, federal contractor, defense contractor, defense manufacturer, etc., this may mean that this um, employee has accessed a lot of uh, documents with CUI or maybe internal documents, especially if you're a public company. All of this is a concern and something that we should investigate further. That being said, let's look at what exactly Elijah has been up to. Okay, we see right away that uh, he is sending emails out to an external recipient. We also see that he is accessing SharePoint. Um, and now, granted, Elijah might have um, access to do these things, and maybe there's a good reason for it, but this is really high and out of the ordinary. One thing I appreciate with uh, Copilot with Purview is that it's kind of like having your own detective team, right? It's not like having your own insider threat. It's going to analyze the activity for you and break it down in a summary um, based on just the, the user activity. Um, it makes it a lot easier, especially if you're a smaller uh, organization and you may not have a lot of hands that can um, monitor acti user activity. So let's see here. Again, we see that that uh, he's been accessing uh, a lot of sensitive uh, information for some reason. And in summary, emails with attachments sent outside of the organization. Um, and also inside of SharePoint, he's accessed a lot of uh, sensitive files. 
Uh, and then I like here, it says additionally, an HR event has detected on March the 8th, indicating user resignation has been sent. So it's pretty, pretty easy uh, uh, detective work here, what's going on. Um, Elijah, two days before he's put his uh, uh, resignation notice, Elijah has been busy uh, just basically dumping out as many documents as he can with 20 something years in insider threat and in investigations inside an organization. This is very common. Um, now, I will say before uh, Copilot and also the early stages of Purview, uh, when mostly everything was in SharePoint, um, a lot of companies did not have auditing turned on. So we would we knew that the employee was dumping all of the documents and sending it via email, right? We could see that in exchange, um, but we didn't have this much data that is so helpful, you know, especially if you're putting together an investigation. In this case, this could be considered criminal and civil. So you want to most definitely have all of your data aligned and be able to present this data in a report which I'll go to into in another video of, of creating reports.